five gate, double forge, robotics facility. What is these uh, units moving out here for? Um, for probe? It's just a bunch of blink stalkers. He's just gonna poke the front. I expect he'll hopefully he not die to the mine, but yeah, he could just be trying to check the third. That's true. Yeah, just get some map control. If he pokes the front, he might get to kill the marauder and then dodge the mine if he's really good. Ah, uh, he just blinks out. Fair enough. Yeah, it doesn't quite have enough to one hit that marauder. Yeah, I guess he sees the marauder and confirms it's not mech. Perfect scouting. <laughs> that's, that's true. Wait, well, what is he? Anyway, Probe's taking his third and he's going over to more gateways, and I really like his position. Like, he's got his third now before the Terran has even started his third. Yeah. Season. Like, yeah. as long as he doesn't die, he's in a great Yeah, if position. he just keeps chrono, if he just keeps chroning out these upgrades, get that nice up upgrade lead like he had in the last game. Try to snipe a meta that gets a few shots off. But look at this. Like, he's got double forge already working, and he's actually going to get away with this. He's got seven gates nearly done now. Like, yeah. I think Probe's just going to have a massive lead here. He just needs to make sure not to lose units for free. Especially if Sayak does the same thing he did last game, where he kind of delayed those Vikings for so long. This is going to be... Yeah, the Colossus is going to be super strong. The range isn't done yet, so if Sayak pushes right now, he could do some damage. And it looks like he wants to maybe do a bit of a drop. Probe does oh. see this army moving over the side of the map there. But Sayak knows, he sees that probe. Yep. He knows, he knows. Yep. And, and Probe should know that Sayak knows that he knows. <laughs> yes. Anyway, the 1-1 one -one does finish up for Probe. Okay, 1-1 so one -one finishes. He has an upgrade advantage for any fight that happens here. I, I don't know if he should start 2-2 two -two just yet. Just wait till this force is pushed yeah, back. Yeah, he's not probing either. He's really concentrating on getting his army up big, which I think is correct, because this could be scary. Oh, uh, this, this is so really bad for Sayak. Yeah, oh, he gets, gets the, the Raven. Raven. It does drop two turrets, but they don't do anything really against Protoss. Or anyone. Yeah, I mean, he really should have <laughs> dropped the uh, PDD. Wow. Blinks forward with a stalker to get the meta back. So he does lose a few of them for free, so it's a bit aggressive. But I feel like if he dropped like a PDD, the stalkers would have been nullified yeah. more so than dropping two auto turrets. Yeah, I think that's a really, really good point. Um, PDD or even a hunter seeker would be more effective than turrets. <laughs> I think I think he was just panicking. Yeah, like he's, he's like, yeah, oh, he it's gonna die. I have to make energy. something. Yeah, which is fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if he intended, I don't think he intended to take that engagement. Yeah. But Probe now feels safe to start chronoing Probes and his 2-2 again. Yeah, which is it's gonna pretty be nice. Rough, he's so got yeah. his charge nearly done. I assume he'll throw down a Temple Archives pretty soon. And I really no, like Probe's No position. second engineering bay for Sayak yet. Does he even have an armory? I don't think he has an armory either. Is he SCV pulling or is yeah. this a mistake? I think it's a mistake if he SCV pulls. There's the armory, there's the second... Yeah, wow, that's just super delayed. So this is going to hurt him a lot. Probe's going to have 2-2 two -two nearly done by the time he starts his 2-2. Two -two. Maybe, I don't think... Uh... If he chronos it, he will. Oh, yeah, the armory. The armory's so late. Yeah. And yeah, so it looks like he's going to go into a long game, which is his best bet. I don't think he can win with an all-in at this stage. No, and there's the... Temp yeah, so just really conservative play for Probe. Gets yep. a decent Colossus count, goes into the Templar. Yeah. Sayak does have a solid supply lead. Like, his macro is always on point. Yeah. But I don't think he can do that much damage just because of the upgrades. Yeah, I think Although, I think he just needs to work... Oh, he doesn't have a lot of medivacs, actually. He might be hitting a timing here before Probe's upgrades finish. He's only got one medivac. Oh, wow, yeah, and that's actually timing. I, I don't think there is a timing here. And there's only four He's... Vikings against four Colossus, yeah. There's no way. There's 30 seconds before these upgrades finish. Unless Probe just doesn't want yeah. his odds and has no force fields. Like the only way this, this army can like, win is if he gets right lot. on top of the Colossus. There's just not enough support for the for the bio. Yeah, exactly. It is still a scary amount of bio, but I like four yeah. Colossus with oh, nothing to really do with them. Oh, those Vikings! Vikings! Vikings are going to get focused out immediately. Down. Yeah, and Probe just goes for it. He knows he can win this fight easily. He splits his odds a bit. Doesn't really matter. They all die anyway, but. Yeah, and like, Sayak still has the supply lead, but yeah, but, loses, but again, he loses the minimum now, amount of tech units he had. And he's now down on upgrades. Probe needs to start his 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, Probe and needs to keep Zowitz, I think. I think he can... Oh, look at this. The reinforcements are going up to the left side of the map. That's actually so good. Sayak Sayak's so really smart. Nice good warp in here from Sayak. Yeah, he's really good at just maintaining his army movements everywhere. But a few probes go down. This probe does warp in some icons, so he will clean this up eventually. But this is really good damage for a tiny yeah, little squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting some good probe kills. Yep. Zarkons. Probably could. Uh, and this and pulling back his, his whole army. Yeah, like. That's pretty brutal. 
probe could have had its timing to do some damage there, but that really nice backstab from Psyarch, like, that I was like... 12 yeah. supply or something. Barely anything, but did heaps of damage. Yeah, nothing, and did, did a lot of good work, pulled him back, keeps him alive. I just feel, I feel Psyarch really prospers when he has the Medivax yeah. uh, available, and I think in this game, it's that's kind of... Because imagine that backstab happens, and at the same time he's loading up a Medivac for the natural or something. It would have been... Yeah, it would have been amazing just to have more multi prog to happen there. I feel yeah. like his second star port is always late. I agree. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's a conscious choice. Maybe it's a, like a, a mistake. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't, I can't imagine it being intentional. Well, I don't know. Maybe... You think he's just forgotten at both times? I feel like this is just how he plays, but... It could be. I don't know, it just does not seem to um, work out very well. Yeah, yeah. so maybe he, he works on... He like tries to invest in a larger ground army. Goes for that push that he just did. And then um, afterwards he goes for the four Vikings behind. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think he should be taking this fight at all. The Colossus were pretty late to the battle there, so Sai got yeah, decent actually, trade off against the Zealots, but he has to run now. So many Vikings are going well, down. Actually... No, oh, okay. he can't. Storms, storms yeah, there. He can't engage that. There's quite a few Templar now. Actually, so many Templar. How yeah, many it's like, that's again? like six, I think. Five. He has like four Storms not, available. Not as many as I thought, but... It's, it's plenty. More and more racks going out for Sayak. He's trying to get his infrastructure going. And he's starting go Ghost Three production. Ghosts on the way. Okay, so Probe's going to hit with 3-3 three, three here. Is this going to be similar to last game? Probe just kind of shoves through. I don't think so. I think the Ghost will be out. And with decent EMPs, I think Sayak can actually... Yeah, and he's in slide. a defensive position this time. But he's yeah. at a similar supply count. as like a, It yeah. is very similar. Probe has a fourth almost done, by the way. Yeah, like... I don't think Probe needs to attack, and I'm not sure if he should. There is a Warp Prism, I think. He's just got shut down. Nice. Nice work from Sayak. Yeah. So he's not taking any of Probe's bullshit this time. And... I don't think Probe can attack this, really. With the Ghosts, it's going to take some pretty bad EMPs. Probe's just going for it, though. We'll have to see how it works oh, out for him. Oh. EMPs on most of the armor. He has one Storm, but that's it. Decent micro back from Sayak. Yeah, but look, losing a lot of his Vikings though. Um, the Vikings do go down really quickly. Wow, that's and the it, that's it. reinforcements. Oh, gonna push through. Shit. Okay, never mind. Protoss is good. Three three is Be so good. There is a lot of bio here, but yeah, wow. Those three three gateway units are actually amazing. The zealots don't die. Look at how long they take to die. Yeah, you need you need mines or EMP, or you just can't kill them with marauders. Oh, and look at those reinforcements. Picks off the Colossus, but three micro is the other one back, and oh, he's gonna get one oh, of these medivacs. Okay. This is it. This is over. That's it. Wow. He just got Protoss in the face. Probe just says, "Sop." Probe is very I've, confident with attacking. Yeah, I've, maybe he just says, "All right, look, I've got this timing. I've got three, three, a large like he has the right composition, right? He's got the Templar Colossus." Yeah, and there were there were three ghosts, which is enough to deal with the Templar, but not enough to deal with the Zealots. And because he had no mines, yeah. those charge lots are just super powerful. <laughs> yeah, those char three, three charge lots against the two, two Marine Marauder. That's just destruction. Okay, so let's see if we can get into one of these best of fives coming up. Yeah, absolutely. What do we got? Igers versus Arthur. Mm hmm. Huck Probe. Yeah, the stuns are good now. Bly versus the winner of Eleza and Armani. Eleza is a familiar name. Why is that? I have never. I haven't seen it before. I feel like I have, but I can't. I don't know where. And then Spe Mr. Protoss 2 0's Demilov. Mr. Protoss? Spear versus Mr. Protoss, Ooh, dude. Mr. Protoss. Who is Mr. Protoss? Sioris did take a map off Huck, so that's a pretty nice run. Who, who's this? Who did? Sioris, oh, the, uh, the Mongolian. Sioris. Yeah. Yeah, must be a decent player. Very impressive. Looking at this now. Spear, Mr. Protoss. Where in the. Is this round of eight now? Yeah, I guess it is. Nice, yeah, getting to the business end. Okay, so we've lost... Here's some notable names. I think we've lost Pig to a walkover. Yep, Pig didn't show up. Um, Where's... Did Solar not show up? No. It's a shame. Which is, which is odd. I mean, it's probably because it's Valentine's Day. R.I.P. Pig. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> who is Mr. Protoss? I need to find this. Dude, who is Mr. Protoss? Is that his name? Mr. Protoss X on Team Liquid, apparently. American GM Protoss. One yeah. post. One wait, post wait, on wait, Team wait, Liquid. So what did, what did you Google? Team Liquid? I just went to the Team Liquid uh, Masters Cup thread signups. 
Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Mr. Protoss. An AGM. I mean, uh, I wonder how Azure did. Azure lost 2 0 to Eliza. Eliza. Who's Eliza? Let's look that guy up too. Um. Ah, oh, that's right, it's Polish Zerg. I knew I was familiar, yeah. He's, he's, Polish a, Zerg. he's, a, he's a Nurtio, yeah. He's a, quite young. Yeah, right. Um. Um. He's so actually he, got some decent results. That's actually probably going to be an interesting game. The winner of. I wonder, I wonder how far along. I mean, if Amani's involved, it's probably over in 15 minutes or so. <laughs> wow. Well, shots. The shots. Actually, that's not true. It's a ZVZ. Armani, a ZVZ is like the only matchup Armani plays macro in. Right. <laughs> anyway, we could go into Pro vs. Huck, but I don't okay, know what another Mr. Protoss PvP. equals continue. Continue? With a K. Okay. I'm looking that up now. I see it. American Protoss player. Ah, yes. On ESC oh, IC box. Yeah. Okay. Recent results. 2-0 Arthur. 2-0 Tefl, pretty good. 2-0 Jim Rising. That's actually not bad. Took a map off Heart, took a map off Targa. Seems pretty solid. Huck is laddering. <laughs> this is good. I Yeah, we're getting to the round of 8. The, all these players, like, Mr. Protoss seems pretty good. Um, probably, yeah, pro definitely at least Korean GM level, I'd say. Uh, yeah. Spear, obviously top player, Huck. I'd say Probe might be the weakest. No offense to Probe, but... I'd probably agree. Having not seen Mr. Protoss... So, do we want to go into Huck vs. Probe, Spear vs. Mr. Protoss? I'd like to get into... maybe not another PvP. So... Well, yeah, it's either PvP or PvT, both of which we've seen recently, or we wait... Or for, we wait for, for a laser Zerg Armani. Zerg. Yeah, I feel like we should just jump into um. Let's. Can we try get? Uh, well, Protoss. I guess I guess Arthur might be on the on it's, the other stream. It's being taken by the yeah the cool kids stream. Yeah. So let's jump into the um spear, Mr. Protoss, if we can. All right. So this is the best of five now. We're down to the top eight. Where are they? I don't see either of them in the. Uh... They might have started already, actually. Let me find it. I don't see either of them in the chat. Who? Wait, who's who is it? Mr. Protoss versus Spear. Spear. Who has that other name that I forget? I can't see Spear. Neither of them are in the group, so I think that must be started already. And everyone's being surprised by the fact that it's best of five. Yeah, it's pretty odd. For for I like it, but. It makes sense when they're single a limb, I think, but especially when the time, like it's a weekend, at least for Australian players. Well, yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people are actually not at, in the morning. Like anyone in the US, I guess it's okay time. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a reasonable time in the US. It's like seven or eight. But in Europe, it's now two a.m. But Roughly. Europe's always Europe's always going to have a rough time to see. I guess so. One one or the other will always end up kind of. Screwed. Yeah, you can't you can't please everyone, obviously. When you want an international player base. Yeah, so I guess Bly probably has the best argument against it. Yeah, well, he's just gonna have to tough it out, I guess. If you want the free money, you gotta stick with it. You gotta stay up all night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, I think we might want to jump in. Um. Probes lobby because I feel like that other one's already started. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Let's so, follow our hero probe. Yep. See hero. It is the hero probe. We've, we've followed this bracket the whole way through, dude. This line: Jim Rising Shadow Shadow Probe, Probe Psyok, Probe Huck. Yeah. I guess we we'll have before, to watch Huck next game. Yeah. In before. Oh no, they're gonna. We're gonna They'll steal we're gonna them, get Huck. Yeah, we're gonna get gypped. Yeah. They're gonna snake it from us. Yeah, man, we're gonna confirm it, get in the lobby, and then they'll be like, oh, we're casting this one, guys. Alright, let's go. Alright. 
Alright. Let's stop being angsty. <laughs> <laughs> if your casters are salty, you know something's wrong with your stream, Matt. <laughs> Alright, another Protoss vs Protoss. Huck vs Probe. Probe's been doing well so far, but I feel like this is going to be a challenge for him. Yeah, definitely going to be a tough matchup. All right, best of five, and there's a probe Whoa, already heading out. Oh my god! Oh, look, look at the other side. Of oh the map. no! Oh. <laughs> Guys, they get they get a kiss. Other? They get a kiss in the middle. Watch. What are they gonna do? Do they just commit? Oh, oh wait! Oh no! What's probe doing? What's probe doing? He's dodging it. Probe. What the fuck. Who does that? Who does that? Who Why dodges? Though? Who, yeah, because who dodges their opponents? Probe, two yeah, probe. Yeah, the thing is, it like just it makes, makes sense. It makes sense with Lings at a nine pool, but it doesn't make sense with. Okay, wait, where do they this. proxy? Oh, he just goes into the main. Oh, you go yeah, in the main. He's going you the absolutely main. go in the main. Probe's not going in the main. <laughs> probe's a weirdo, man. I don't oh, understand probe's, this. No, probe's doing a one gate. Oh, he's doing dude. stalker. He's doing stalker proxy. That's bad. Is it? If Against he gets, a if two he gets, gate proxy in if he gets base. one, if he gets a mothership core out, though, he wins. What? If, why is he mining? Okay, gets the gold. All right, wait. Is this a one gate from Hawk though? What no. is this game right now? Okay. No, I think it's just two gate from Hawk. Well, not necessarily, but. Oh, it's a, yeah, ten. No, it ten. has to be. If it's in main, it has to be two gate. Yeah, ten ten. It's ten ten. Oh, I. This is weird. Probe's going home to but make. But the thing. Oh no, nah, Probe can't get his cyber core up. He's just gonna get a depowered by Zealots. He can't get a mothership core. I don't think. No, there's no way unless he builds it at the part. Yeah, but he's pulled the probe back. Well, hang on, he has to focus the cyber core if he wants to kill it. He can't just depower it. He can still make a mothership core. Maybe Pro can hold this. The question is, can he actually get the counter damage done fast enough to stop Huck from defending? He has no gas. Huck is probing behind this, so maybe not. This is, this is not good. There's no- where is he gonna build- is this- what is well, this? There's no pylon in his base to build a cyber core. It's gonna be a really late cyber core. I don't know, maybe this is meant to be a one gate pressure from Huck, just like Zealot pressure. But whatever it is, it's not gonna work out for him. Probe is in so much trouble. Yeah, if he had a cyber core starting now, Huck comes in here and he'd be says, okay. "Yes, yeah." What is this game from Huck right now? Well, this is a pretty simple game from Huck. What is this game from Probe? Is what I'm asking. That's very true. I see this from Probe all the. He doesn't know yet. He still doesn't know. It, like it makes, it makes sense if he gets the faster core for a stalker rush. But as it is, it's like a one gate zealot pressure. Oh no! And now he knows. And now he's like, "Oh, whoops!" And he goes to the surround with his probes, but. Once right, the right. second or third Zelda right, out. He's not going to be able to mine enough gas to get a Mothership Core. Mm, he can try. And look, he does keep the probes on gas. I think that's his okay, only okay. option. Okay, there's a Zelda in Hawk's base, though. Yep. And it's... It's going to go down, though. It does decent damage. But there's... How many probes? Kills, like... There's still couple. 10 probes left. 10 is a few. One... 92 oh, yeah. gas. Probe needs to mine... Get... Oh, he needs to mine One four more, more gas. gas! Probe to mine the gas! And he's doing it, he's doing it. He's doing it. He, he knows. knows. He knows. That's, that's the strategy. Oh no! He's Huck, Huck, no. Gonna, Huck doesn't focus it. Okay, no. okay, okay, okay. Alright. Now that's it. This is the play. He's... Oh wait. No, but Huck, cool. Huck started a gas. And he's got his own cyber core building. Yeah, then that's it. I think Huck What can... is it? Okay, that gateway wasn't building anything. I think Huck gets the stalker out in time. Yeah, because oh, Probe... Does Probe... Oh, pro... He has to okay. set across map. He has to. Yeah. What's he doing? Nah, this is... This is... What, he's gonna try and that's depower all... the... He's gonna... Oh, if he depowers the gates... There's might... too many, there's two pylons there though. Yeah. Although... Huck can start one stalker. Yeah. Which beats a mothership core. Unless the probes get an amazing surround. Uh, I think probes Even dead. if he gets a, yeah, no, that's it. Like... Probe takes a risk. That's Man. gonna be it for, for probe, I think. It's Wait, not... he's gonna supply block him? No, he's not. The stalker still gets out. What is he doing? What are you doing, probe? Focus. Micro control, come on! I believe. Control. Embrace your inner King Kong. Uh oh, that's not good. This, yeah, that's it. Rip mothership core. And Huck says, "Wow, GG. That was a quick one. Damn. That's kind of brutal. I f I'm, not, I'm not sure perhaps build was on point there. I feel like the cyber core was really late." I'm not 100% sure because I don't I don't play Protoss vs Protoss, but if that mothership call was out 30 seconds earlier, I feel like he can win that. I don't know. It's, it's so hard to say. Yeah.
Like, I would have liked to have seen him, like, I don't know, commit to, like... Nah, that doesn't make sense. I think Probe was just in a really rough spot there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Could have done. <laughs> Decisive victory, though, for Huck. Yeah, I... Because I've seen people... I've seen, like, pairs hold a 2-gate just by getting a single Mothership Core out off of, like, a 14-gate. Yeah, but... But... but the, yeah, because the Cyber Core's faster. Yeah, so it feels like it should be a faster Mothership Core, so it should be better, but... I guess because Huck knew what was happening, he could just transition really easily. Yeah, and I mean, even for Probe, though, the Cyber Core was quite late. Yeah. Because he, he, he wasn't going for a Stalker Rush. I think that's what it comes down to. It wasn't a Stalker Rush, it was... Yeah, it was a, it was a Zealot Pressure, yeah. I think it was two Zealots Stalker. Like, I think I've seen him do that before. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, apparently... Oh my goodness, he's doing it again. Yeah, I think Probe, Probe um, might be on I, tilt a little, or he just wants to finish his tournament run. Um, I mean, it is a best of five. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Where is he going to put it this time? Um, I don't know. I kind of like the decision, though, to be honest. Like, a long game against Huck yeah. is going to be hard. I feel like... Uh, it's so tough. Like, it's not like it's a hard counter build. Like, you know, like, the proxy that Huck did, you'd be like, okay, yeah, that... That's like a... Like, depending on build, you're just going to win. But I think this build that Probe likes, I don't know really what it... If it really hard counters anything. I th yeah, I think it just gets him ahead into a, like, uh, like an advantage. So, I mean, it, I if think that's what he wants. If that's what he wants. Maybe he wants to get ahead and then just do a follow-up. Yeah, maybe. Well, we'll have to see. He oh. might just drop two gates here. <laughs> that'd be... That'd be great. Now, nah, there's... Yeah, it's not It's not going to be it. You got another yeah. probe. So, so it's going to be that 11 gate here from... Probe. This time, the probe's still hanging around. Nah, is, he's making more probes. He's making uh, more probes. It wouldn't make sense for him to go for the. Well, it could be a really delayed second gate, but normally that's after a cyber core. Okay, then there, there's the gas. Yep. But I just wonder, like, <laughs> gateway is like at the same time for Huck. Yeah, actually, did Huck Huck went eleven gate? Did he? Actually, no. It's it's uh, a, it's a standard thirteen gate. It's just the probes is late because he has to pile on. And it is two gate. Sounds. So it's oh, gonna be, I guess. It's but it's going to be Cybercore. Yes, absolutely. He's mining gas, so it's gonna be Cybercore. Does Huck check? He does check for it. So Huck now knows what's going on. Oh, probe. Oh man, is that probe stuck? I think it is. Man, probe is so sad right now. That probe. <laughs> Probe's probe, so sad. Probe's probe is like, get me out of here. Yeah, Huck's mining his gas just a little. He's got a second gateway on the way. I mean, he doesn't start a zealot. I don't think he should. He do he starts a zealot late. I don't know. I think mean, just uh, actually, I feel like starting a zealot instead of the second gate earlier is maybe better. But I'm no, gonna defer, I, I'm gonna no, defer I to like Huck's this. judgment. I like this. I like this. I, I mean, Huck okay, so this zealot's gonna get in and do something. Yeah, he gets forces the probes off the line. Almost get us around there, actually. Oh my god, they're gonna get him. Oh Ooh, no. Really nice control here from Huck. Surrounds that Zealot. I don't think he's losing a single probe either. Wow, that's brutal. The Zealot, yeah, the Zealot just takes so much damage. There's two Stalkers on the way from probe, but Huck already has one of his own coming. Yeah, so these two Stalkers are gonna finish. Starts. So he's gonna have. He's actually gonna have. A, like, with good, the right. With the Might Micro, probe can get that. You have like 20 done. seconds here. 20 seconds where he's got this. These. Yeah. Oh, okay. Stalkers coming. Yeah. Oh, what is this? <laughs> probe, please. The stalker right next to it. Another probe pull. If he gets this, oh no! What are you doing, probe? Probe, not microing his best here. Yeah, and suddenly, oh. Perhaps no. a I bit busted. Yeah. That's not playing his best. That's for sure. And that's the GG. GG. Game three. Well, this is going to be a quick one. What are you talking about? I believe probe can do this. <laughs> sorry, can do sorry. This. He's just. He's trying to he's just, um, yeah. low Huck into a false sense of security. Yeah. And now, right. he's just going to smack him down three games in a row. Yeah. He's just going to put him down. Yeah. But in reality, like, I feel like Probe is just kind of feeling, uh, yeah, like, maybe I could beat Huck in a best of three, but a best of five, like, I don't know if I can do it. 
Um, let's just try and see if I can get you know, a couple early wins just with these cheeky builds. Yeah, I mean, and this is, Probe hates this matchup too. Yeah, Probe is not a fan of PvP. So I think, yeah, he's probably from the start pretty resigned to almost certainly losing this one and just wants to get it over with quickly. Yeah, still wants to, yeah, like still still playing it out, not forfeiting. Yeah, he's trying, but he's, I mean, he's playing quick builds. They either work or they don't work, and then he moves on. Yeah, and I mean you can't blame him, I guess. I I know I agree with the decision making. It's like, all right, look, he probably he could probably beat Huck in a long game. He could probably beat Huck like in two games if they went long, but three, three out of five, three out of five, like maybe hard. But let's say like he gets gets a quick quick win, gets it to one one or one zero or whatever, and then says, all right, let's let's go from here. I've got that win. Yeah, well, it looks like this game he's decided to keep all his probes in his main. I I Which like this decision. Unsurprising on says, Deadwing. Yeah, it says, look, I've all in you. Um, it hasn't worked. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tr test myself in a macro game, you know? Possibly. I, I mean, think, he could he could still try something like a four gate, but I think it's always like when when you play against someone who you feel like is better than you. I think it, a lot of the time it's like if if you fail with this kind of, with those kind of plays if you don't fail with those do whatever you like if you if they work then you can do what you can to win but if you're down two games and all your shenanigans aren't working then just play the macro game and yeah, see, see what happens can, yeah just yeah like see like maybe maybe you can win the macro game and you're like ah oh. maybe yeah. I, I find like often even even if it's not going to make you win, it's it's often just better for confidence to see how close you can get in a macro game. Yeah, it, I, it feels better to play like three macro games and then like lose after however long, but it can't like it was just small differences as opposed to cheese and just get wrecked. Yeah, I mean I think it depends on your mentality too. True. Like if you're absolutely like terrified of the person you're playing, sometimes just making it go longer just drags it on too long. It just hurts. Yeah. I don't... I feel like Probe shouldn't feel that way about Huck, though. You know what I mean? I mean, like, yeah. Huck, Huck's a top player, but it's, it's not like he's playing against... It's not know, parting, you know? Yeah, it's not parting. It's not rain or something. Yeah. It's not... Yeah, it's not rain. Not parting. Not Zest or any of those other ones. Not, not, not a super top GSL winning Protoss player. Yeah. So, you know, I'll respect him playing a longer game here. Oh, uh -oh. that's a proxy from Hawk. I think this is a Stargate. And this is the better version of what Probe tried to do. This is, nah, this is the less tricky version. Well, the thing was, Probe's, <laughs> Probe's pylon was late anyway. Yeah, that's true, actually. That was, that was just bad. That was just bad. Oh! Okay. okay. Oh, man. Oh, look where he's checking. Oh, my God. Oh, he's, no, he's proxy! <laughs> no! Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. Dude, why does he delay it so much? The pylon. I don't even understand. Why is he putting it here this game? That's so funny. I love how so weird. he it, changes his position. It's like he's barely. got anti he's got anti map hacks on. Dude, he's got anti map hacks right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is what going on? This? Okay, Huck knows now. This is insane. Oh my god. And there's the Stargate. Dude, this is this is filthy. This is hilarious. <laughs> Neither of them. This is so. This is beautiful. This is like the yin and the yang. <laughs> the of the proxies. <laughs> Dude, I love. He changed his position. He's like, look, I just want to be that little bit closer. Like yeah, maybe in watch... case Huck was watching the stream. Yeah. Yeah, Huck might have been watching. He might know. Look, I'm gonna put it here. Oh my god. Well, I. I Dude, think this is a lot of trouble. See it. Oh, wait. He got the first shot on the Stalker. GG, get okay. out, Huck. There's another two call. But this Oracle is just going to fly in and there's nothing at all at home. <laughs> this, is gonna, this Oracle is going to kill 12 probes. Uh, but Huck... This does is... Huck know? Okay, now he does. He must. Well, I don't know. He must have an inkling. But look at this. <laughs> he is making a Phoenix. Yeah, look. This is everything. Right. Rip. 9, 10. Uh... <laughs> I mean, probe, probe knows what's happening just now. He found GG it. He right in front GG. of his face and then just GG's out. That was kind of funny. Oh, Huck my. takes it 3 0.
So, Huck's showing that proxying better is in fact better. I agree. Wait, you don't need a much, uh, like, probe goes for, like, a safe proxy. Like, why would you go for a safe proxy? Yeah, it's really weird. Commit, or just build it in your main, you know? Alright, um, I guess we've got a bit of a wait for the next game. Unless, has Bly vs Armani started? Probably has. Oh, well, let's, Ooh, let's maybe not. Bracket. Is it not up to date there yet? Oh, looks like they're... I'm gonna message them really quick. I think they just jumped into the lobby. Oh, sick! All right, all right, all right. I think we're gonna get into Bly vs Armani, like just in the nick of time. I'm joining off you. I'm not sure if this is where we want to be. Excellent. E hunt timing, man. Um, I don't have a stream delay on. Bly's asking for one. I mean, I guess if he tells us to get out, we get out, otherwise we go ahead. Yeah. He gave me a sad face, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I assume this is the first map, I'm not actually 100% sure. Um. Maybe someone can confirm that for me? Yeah. Chat, get on that. Yeah, chat, it's your fault. ZVZ. Oh, I love ZVZ. Yeah, man. Finally, races, I understand. This, we haven't had enough ZVZ in this tournament so far. This is the problem when you let people who aren't from C join. Yeah, get, I know. You get races then, that aren't Zerg. Dude, there actually aren't even that many Zergs in this. Yeah, it's There's, kind of refreshing. This is the These they're are both, the only two Zergs left. I was about to say they're both temp-pulling, but no, they're both going to overload the extractor trick, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Weirdos. Yeah, one's Korean. And the other one is European, so... He's a wannabe Korean, right? He <laughs> wants to be. Dude, I was, I was talking to Juno about this, and apparently, if you drone stack perfectly, the extractor trick is better. Really? But, but, but like, it was like... It's minuscule. It's like five minerals. Yeah. And it was like... Like, something like if you, you have to, like, split... Like you, like the drones auto go to mine, but like you split them anyway. Like if you split them and then uh, drone stack really well, and then you're on like overgrowth as opposed to expedition loss or something where the minerals are so far away, yeah, then it then it can be better. But I think it's such a negligible difference, and I and I think it's like better to err on the side of I am not a perfect human. Yeah. I mean, I normally 9 Overlord, because then it means if I mess it up, I still have a chance to 10 Overlord and not look like I messed up. Yeah. It's a good strat. Yeah, sometimes... Sometimes... Sometimes I... Get, I do that orc... I, like, go up to 9 Overlord, but, like, I don't build the Overlord. I'm, like, at 80 Minerals or something, and then yeah. I build it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, Oops. Like, man, I look like an idiot right now. <laughs> so some, sometimes I cancel it and build a 9 pool. <laughs> yeah. Because that works. That's, 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 it's a good way to choose when you 9 pull and when you don't. It's, yeah, not, very, it's not very predictable. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they're both going very so, similar builds. Hatch pull, hatch gas pull, rather. Very confident. Yep. Have you seen the uh, the Demi Love opening? Is the Demi Love opening? What is the Demi, Demi Love opening? It's where you go to 11 drones with extractor trick and then you make an overlord. That is. <laughs> it's that is. That is a bad opening. It actually, I think it ends up almost exactly the same. I will be having words with Demi Love. <laughs> no, it's like Leenok. Leenok does 10 Overlord, no Extractor Trick. Yeah, it's weird. Some people just like building up 3 Lava for a couple of seconds for some reason. I think, I think it's, I think like Leenok, maybe he rallies his drones for certain things. And he just likes the timing that he gets from that. Yeah, maybe. It might just be a feel thing. Like, the difference is so small that it's really like, it whatever is, feels best. It is objectively worse, but like... It's objectively worse by a time fraction. A lot of other things you could do that are also objectively worse. Exactly. That yeah. make up for it, that people do. Yeah, drone stacking. I mean, spawning on the wrong side of the map, for instance, sometimes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Spawning on overgrowth as opposed to expedition lost. <laughs> Dude, that map makes me so mad. Yeah, those minerals are. Yeah. Bit I was so confused. It was, every time, like, you got the close, like, the, the lava spawned on the right side. 
they're like close to the minerals. And I'm like, okay, so I should get my spawning pool like at a good time. Blood? He's sending this queen out. Yeah, he's going like he's super confident here. He's sending queen out to hunt, and he's going. He's building up gas without making a baneling nest. Is he just what? Is he doing? I don't know what this gas is for. It looks like it's he wants the Ling Flood, which he is. Okay, is, Ling Flood. Is, is he going in, Lair? Ling Flood, I don't think Lair immediately. I think Ling Flood, What's he will go for? Lair. What's he will go for? Lair. He's going to go like double Evo Roach Warren or something. Oh, no. It's a Roach Warren all in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's Ling Pressure into Roach Ling. Okay. Oh. This is a build that makes sense. Never mind, guys. Yeah. But is it an all in? Oh, my God. Just, oh just, yeah. It's, it's the absolute... see it. He's just made, he's because he made three drones and it was kind of odd. Where's the roach warren? And did Armani? He didn't see it. it. He didn't see it. It's in the natural. Okay. Okay. These lings. The banelings are here from Armani. Bly. Oh, this spine crawler is so things. good. I mean, he can still try and do something with these lings. He's gonna try and pick up some drones. Gets one. Gets two nice. drones. That's not bad for six lings. And, and yeah. Oh, he did drone up a bit behind this, so it's not gonna be a straight up roach ling all in. It looks like he, it is gonna be oh, a massive roach ling attack though. Be, like there's no lair started and three overlords on the way. Oh, the gas guys are baneling nest. Roach bane, okay. Like, I, I do like this build. Alright, the problem I have with this is the fact that Armani's got a Roach Warren. Yeah, like this is a build that's meant to just kill Muta outright, I think. But Armani's got a Roach Warren, so... Should go pretty well for Armani, I think. Because this what Armani had looks exactly like Muta. So I'm not sure if it, it was going to be Muta and he somehow read that this Roach attack is coming. Or if he was just going to go Roach the whole time, but... I do like Armani's position a lot. He's gonna and look, he's building up minerals to make a bunch of roaches. He might even be trying to do an all in of his own. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the roaches from Bly do move out, and Armani should see them in a couple of seconds. There they are. Yep. And twelve roaches for Armani. No less started. And he's starting a spine for safety, but he honestly oh, doesn't need it. Oh, now he is start it. starting a lot. Yep, which is good. He's very confident. Yeah. These. Ooh. Oh! If he saved both those banes for to catch these ones, it would have been good. But actually, the links are going to get them all most of them before they morph anyway. Right. Two bane links is negligible. And look at this. Armani already has like twelve roaches yeah, waiting. Fly, fly has no business doing anything with this. Yeah. What's the drone count like? The drone count's very oh, it's even. actually quite even. There's only two drones behind. So Bly is by no means out of this game. Oh no, absolutely not. Armani was like. Sure, defending that really well, but he was committing Armani, a lot to defending it. Yeah, um, has, Armani played very safe there. He's gonna get a faster plus one as well. <clears throat> Blight does take a faster third hatch. I like the third hatch. I... Yeah. It's not bad. Like, especially given that he sees that Armani made an extra spine, I think he can get away with this. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, either way. Yeah, not really. But yeah, and yeah. Armani's just taking his own third. Yeah. Blaze's gonna try and deny it with these lings. He might get one cancel by the look of it. Not sure why Armani turned around there. Oh, no cancel! Whoops. That's actually... That's a big deal. That's 300 minerals. Yeah, that's... That's actually really rough at this stage too, because you can see... Um, Armani kind of... He want, He should have... Yeah, he's got like 7 lava that he can't use because he has to... Save up for this hatchery. Oh my god! No, no cancel! Oh! That's he just lost brutal. 600 minerals. Why is he not? I don't know, he's just not paying attention, man. I guess Bly lost like 600 minerals worth of links. Yeah, but oh, those, links, those links are pretty Those useless. links mean nothing, really. Yeah, like once plus one gets down on the roaches, they do nothing in a fight. Yeah. Even before then, they're, so that's, they're that's pretty That's 600 useless. minerals, Armani. Uh, Bly was gonna lose either way, but Armani shouldn't have lost. Yep. Oh, well, I don't think it was 600 minerals for. I mean, the units lost. Anyway, Bly was making roaches throughout most of that. Like, he hasn't got too greedy, so he's not going to take damage from Armani. And I'm not sure if Armani's even going to try and push it. Yeah, Bly is actually winning and resources lost, so... Yeah, the question is, when does he try and sneak the drones in? Because if he doesn't start droning soon, then he actually doesn't get any advantage from this third patch. Yeah. But yeah, there's no way Armani can attack into that concave. Armani does have speed a little bit faster than Bly, but it's not really going to be too useful. too many roaches. Yeah. He does. Yeah, have so a, ooh, he has, actually has oh. a counter attack. Four roaches kill That's a queen. That's so nice because because Bly doesn't get another have queen too. And he's attacking there's, the third. There's an at the engagement with the third, which is that's going to go Bly's way. But Armani can just pull back. And meanwhile, these four roaches have got two queen kills. They're going to get another queen. This is crazy. Oh, but he doesn't okay. go for the queen. I think he should have. 
Yeah, I, I think like, so. Killing all the queens, that's a massive blow to your opponent's production. Although, he get, like, he's, five drones. he's actually getting a lot of drones there. He needs to start targeting again. Oh, he made a mistake. Yeah. Some of his roaches aren't targeting. He, that's like seven or eight drones he just killed with four roaches, though. That's, that's, that's crazy. Amazing. And yeah, he's now 53 drones to 36. If Armani just defends Ooh. this well, he's, he's basically won. And he's got spine callers too. Yep. Bly does have a uh, army supply lead, but we're gonna see we're gonna see Bly push up here and then yeah. get forced back. Oh no! Oh no! That was he got the spine, but yeah, he has to run. Yeah. Especially with these queens who transfers. It's too much for Armani. Armani actually really likes bringing queens into engagements. Yeah, I love it, man. I love queens. Uh, it's, but, it's I mean, really Bly's, nice. Bly's trying to get back into the long game. He's droning up. I can respect that, but I I think he's. Yeah, I don't think... I think he can still play. Like, I think ZVZ, yeah. he was behind by that, what, like, 15 drones or whatever, but I think... They're now pretty much even on drones, he's like three behind. Like, he, he's gonna be behind. He's gonna be behind yeah. in this game, but it's perfectly possible to play a defensive ZVZ and yeah, exactly. make it. Yeah, Like, Amani's gonna max out first, but with defender's advantage, Black can hold. Yeah. Yeah, and that's nice goop by Armani, though. Blocks up that production even more from Bly. Because yeah, def Defender's had... Advantage is so powerful in ZVZ. Oh yeah, it's massive. Concaves for roach fights are huge, and then having the yeah, reinforcements. The concave is so important, it's like the most important thing. It's it's probably more important than upgrades, I think. And Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah, and well, I mean, to a, to a certain extent. To a certain extent, yeah. yeah. Like if you've got the upgrade lead, sometimes you can just hammer yourself into the concave. Yeah. Just yeah. constantly start a step forwards, but yeah, it's hard. Here we go, oh, Armani's going no. for the attack. Bly's concave this is... is actually, this is a good concave for Bly, but... But it's, it actually isn't helping him. Look, Armani's roaches are all attacking. Yeah. But... I think, I think he's just got the unit advantage, though. The army size. Yeah, Armani yeah and again, back. the other thing is the reinforcement. So Armani yep. says, look, I'm trading a right, but with every roach that spawns for you, it gets worse for me. Yeah. And now Bly is going for barrow and roach movement. So Bly's movement. gonna follow, and then... Armani will defend, and we're just going to keep seeing the seesaw. Yep. Back the Roach headbutt war. Actually, this plus one carapace is going to be nice for Armani. Eventually. Not, yeah. a, not a huge. Like, it's weird to see him get a second Evo so late. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Because, because like, Lai's carapace will only be a little bit behind. Maybe a, yeah. minute, a minute later or something, which is not not a large difference. Yeah. Armani's getting burrow, but not burrow movement for his Roaches. Yeah. So I, I mean, he just doesn't have the gas. How many gas guys does he have? Okay, he's just now getting his fist. Yeah, that's not much gas at all. To be yeah, five, five gas is where he wants to be, really. And unfortunately, he hasn't been there yet. So yeah. So this game's pretty much even now. Oh, nice little bow move in here. Oh. Gets the queen. He's gonna get, the, get spine the spine. And then, yeah. Oh, this Armani's going for the frontal attack. Oh, no, and yeah. Really, this is really bad for Armani. If Armani he needs to if, he thunder needs these roaches forwards. It. He needs to break here. He oh, drone's coming off. Drone's coming off the line. Yeah, this is correct by Bly. He ha if he holds this, he pretty much wins. But I don't know if he will. But There's so many. I don't think he can hold it. I don't think he can hold it. Maybe he he committed too much to this counter attack. Yeah. Armani's just broken his main army. I think Armani's gonna win. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That that plus two was actually so huge too. And plus sometimes this is what happens. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Sometimes this is what happens when you try and uh, harass. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like eight roaches. When you're already down on roaches, sometimes that's too many. It's a big deal, yeah. I, Bly can't recover from here, I don't think. No. He's already ran out of money anyway. Yeah, like, he's, game's he's over. down. Oh, loses the third. And Burrows. Burrow for Armani, and he can he can unburrow when... I think Ama uh, Bly should should burrow here as well. Yeah. Link reinforcements from Armani is a bit weird. Uh, he just didn't have the gas. Yeah, that's true. He did lose his third hatch, but I mean, Bly lost his entire army, so this one's pretty over. And his third hatch, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just down in drones, down in army. Army, Armani regroups, and then takes a great fight here. And this is going to be the end. 2-1 against 2-0. Yep. Up in roaches. No amount of bow remover is going to save you, Bly. And Armani takes the first map. Nicely done. Yeah, well played by Armani. Whew. I need to grab a drink. All right, I'll, I'll jump into this next lobby first, but I'm 
Well played by Armani, though. <coughs> Bly kind of a bit tricky there with his um opening or his uh, build order with that Ling flood into. It was a bit strange, yeah. I'm I'm not really a fan. I uh, I think he just got unlucky with it. Like, I, I think th Mutas are pretty popular now, right? Armani did worked perfectly. Like, he had the spine, which made the Ling Flood do nothing. Oh, yeah, Armani held really well, but... Yeah. Like, it was... It, I think it was, like, worst possible... Um, like, worst possible scenario. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Armani having that Roach Roar on in time is massive. And I... I feel like in a lot of... Like, if you let the game play out from, like, the five-minute mic onwards a few more times, I don't think Armani gets the Roach Roar very often. Or at least I don't think the average Zerg player does. Yeah, yeah. That looks. I that wonder. Way. He must have scouted it, right? He didn't. He didn't see the roach worm. Maybe he was going for some sort of roach play. Himself. That's yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, and if that's the case, that's really weird. Because yeah, it would have been a really late roach bane all in from him. Yeah. Um. Maybe it's like timed out. You know, like to hit. Because Armani was doing like a lightning fast one kind of thing. Um. I guess we're going to a new lobby. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, I'm gonna take right. a look at the bracket here and see how we're going. Spear versus continue. Hasn't hasn't got Wait, a result. Join, 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 join. There we go. Well, were they starting? Blash is really, really impatient apparently. Well, I seems like he. I mean, what time is it in in the Ukraine right now? I do not. I just said the Ukraine. That's terrible. It's probably like two a.m. or something, or three a.m. even. So. Yeah, but I mean, come on, like. I mean, he's a gamer, right? Yeah, that's like that's, like, that's par for the course. <laughs> ah, okay. Apparently, it's five forty-five a.m. I was a bit off. Is he from? He's Ukrainian, isn't he? I don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's so. Polish or something. I don't. I don't think so. Oh no, he is. I thought so. On point there is Mr. Pox. Absolutely. And Armani is from South Korea. Whoa. Whoa. North Korea. <laughs> Best Korea. So South Korea confirmed. <laughs> All right. No nine Dank, balls. Dank Korea. Dank. <laughs> Dankest Korea. The dankest of the Koreas. All right. Yes. All right. So both players with the ten overlord. Oh. Okay. So this is. Why is Armani so behind? He's got the good spawn. He's got the good spawn, but he's got the slower everything. Um. Does he really? I mean, he's got I'm a slower still, overlord. Just a little bit. He's got faster drones though. I don't even know what's going on. This is this. That was stop, actually really. Stop, that was Bly's fault, dude. Stop Bly counting milliseconds, Ryan. Stop counting milliseconds. This just bothers me because no, I no, want to. You're, the, you're the kind of guy who's like, oh no, my hack was on two hundred five and it could have been on two hundred three. I'm so bad at overgrowth. Dude, it's That's like how you analyze your play, isn't it? Well, it's like on overgrowth in the good spawn. Like if you went fifteen pool, you'd get it at one fifty three. On yeah. this map. It's like two minutes is yeah. the earliest you can ever get it. Yeah, I'm like, that's seven seconds, dude. That's huge. It's for both players, whatever. That's true. But yeah, your builds still look a little different on different maps just because of that. Yeah. It's because you, like, your, your income slows down, but your lava production doesn't. Yeah. So I exactly. think maybe it's actually worth ad adapting your build purely based on. That's actually that's actually true. Income rates, like. That's so interesting. It's kind of weird. Yeah, because some, because you know, like some builds, like the earlier you get, like queen, the less minerals you have, kind of per lava. Yeah, right. But you get the fast. So like, yeah. yeah. So like a pool first would probably, like, it's probably better to go hatch first on a map like this. Just because yeah, that's true. Because you have you're gonna have lava usually, more anyway. lava. Yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna have more lava to spend, as opposed would and generally you had more minerals anyway, so... Yeah, top level theory craft yeah. here. That's actually some sick theory craft. I'm gonna do that from now on. Anyway, they both went, um... Super they both went hatch first. Yep. 
I guess they're both really confident. Yeah, I think from playing against Armani, I'm actually surprised. Last time I played him, he he was uh, a big fan of Gasless. Right. Um, Gasless hatch first. Gasless, maybe hatch first. Right. I think Gasless like either way doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter that much, no. Yeah, because you can do a safe hatch first, like like a 14 pool after hatchery kind of thing. Yeah. With Gasless. But um, so the the interesting thing to note here is will what will the baneling nest timing be, and will there be a baneling nest built? Yeah, because Bly just decided not to get one. Bly last game. did not get one last game until like the Roach Bane all in. Yeah. No bane nest either player. Yeah, there we go. One goes yeah, down that's for our one money. Of, okay, that's 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 a that's a good timing. That's, yeah, that's an aggressive normal. aggressive baneling nest, I think. Yep. That's like a good timing for like four forty ish. Good timing for that. Oh, this queen is going out again. I think Bly, Bly's play looks remarkably similar. Yeah. No Baneling Nest. It's, it's too late Armani now. Gas. Yeah, too this, late. If, this is the same thing. If Amani doesn't attack, if Amani goes for Ling Bane, which, okay, he's not going to do it. Hmm. I don't yeah, know what it this would, is. It would take some pretty amazing micro from Bly to hold a Ling Bane with no Baneling Nest. Yeah. No spines or anything. But yeah, it's the same thing from Bly. No Lings again. And so far the same thing from Amani. And yeah. there's the Roach Baron, so this is just how Bly likes playing, I guess. Or maybe yeah, he's just started to, maybe he's just started to try this again. Because if I was in his shoes, I kind of feel like he got unlucky with this build last time. Yeah, but I mean, he's getting unlucky again. Look at... Well, Armani hasn't started the Roach Baron yet. Armani didn't start... He hasn't start started a Lair either, though, so... Yeah, I, well, I, in my opinion, you shouldn't really start either until you're... Well, I mean, like, mm, Lair... If you wanted want to go Muta, you'd start a Lair by that's now. That's true, that's you? true. So I think it is going to be... But this is not an anti-muta build. An anti-muta build would... You wouldn't need to hit this fast. Oh, the, the Ling Flood part isn't really. It's the Roach Ling follow-up. Yeah. But this does, like this is not reactionary at all. No, which, absolutely um, not. I think it's kind of unnecessary. He like gets two, pro kill, can... two drone kills again. That's good. Yeah, this is actually third. nice. He just sends in like a few Lings. He's six Lings for three drones. That's great for play. The ex I'm, I'm not awesome. sure about making all 20, though. I feel like if he but just does made eight why... Lings... Does... But Armani, Armani just made the Roach Warren again. He's doing exactly the, the same thing as last this game. Is, this is exactly how it went. The Roach Warren yeah. kind of started as the Roaches started. And and I think he'll probably barely hold again. And be in a great Ooh, spot that again. Baneling was nice. Yeah. There's no Bane Nest this time, though. No. These Lings are doing a lot more damage, though. Just, oh, wait, 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 does not I mean... Yeah. Fire Roaches on the way, another spine. Yeah, this it's, looks identical to last game. It's going to. Well, Armani is. I mean, Bly is transitioning quicker. That's true. Bly has the faster lair this time. So, I think it's going to come out That's of it in, in a better position than last time. Yeah, he got more drones this time. And he maybe. Nah, he doesn't quite have a timing here. He might get a queen. Yeah, he gets one I queen. I do not. He's going like in. This. He's just going for it. I don't think but he's the with the li like he's going to at least trade here. Yeah, he's trying oh, he's, to find he gets the drones. That's really oh, nice. Oh yeah, sending the links. With no, kill drones. There we go. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he pulls and back the roaches, the roaches now. The roaches at the front are just a distraction for these drone kills. Yeah, and then now he's up oh, in drones. Oh, that's beautiful. Look up in drones. Up for drones now. That was now. so good. That was so smart. Yeah, he's up on their timing. Up in drones. And despite Armani seemingly having the perfect counter, Bly comes oh, ahead. Oh, faintly. Okay, only gets two drones in. In Bly's natural. Okay. Whew. All right. Again, though, the late Evo chamber from Bly. And a lot of money for... Okay, you know what? Um, uh, Bly is kind of... He doesn't really have that lead anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know about these spines either. I guess he's just feeling super scared of these roaches coming across the map, but he doesn't need yeah, them. Yeah, he just... I think he just did really have enough gas, you know? Hmm. No plus one yet from Bly is pretty bad. He needs that upgrade. Armani's has already started. He hasn't started his Evo Chamber yet. Armani's gonna have a big plus one timing. Yeah. He is gonna have a faster third. Oh, well, it's the same time for both, really. Oh, yeah. There goes Armani's. So this looks like an even game except for the upgrades, which are just gonna be delayed for It Bly. looks very, very, very similar to the previous game. Yep. Although hopefully this time we won't see two 
failed hatch cancels. And Bly did a lot better this game, but he just... I think, like, he adapted a little bit to, to Armani's defense and, you know, used his lings a bit better, like, wasn't morphing beans, you know. Yeah. And this this time got some decent damage in, but didn't transition quite as effectively as Armani. So it's just that that slight difference in the plus one timing. Yeah. So we'll have to see if Armani, you know, realizes that and manages to take advantage of it or not. Because, I mean, he has I I, a I fully expect timing. him to move out right now with Roach Speed. Yeah, he, he has been... Last game. He has been just massing Roaches, not joining this third at all. Mm. Yeah, if he really... pretty silly to not at least pressure. He's got... He's not... It's not going to mean he wins this, this upgrade, but it means... He'll be the one with applying pressure. He should yep. be, at least. He does Bly have actually has this. Bly. A little Ling hit squad. Why up and roaches, up and drones. Yeah, so unless up Amani can make this upgrade do something for him right now, which means he needs to move out this moment, I think Bly's yeah. in a pretty good spot. Yeah, it's plus two. Keeping that lead. And Amani's just not going for it. He's just sitting around making roaches. There's only... Oh, okay, there are three queens for Amani. Yeah, I'm... I'm not... A completely opposed to this. What is his vision looking like? Not bad. I think Bly's is better though. Yeah, Bly. Bly with better vision. Bly's queen is now overseer hunting. Super yep. ambitious. <laughs> this queen is not long. Armani, Armani finally moves out, but it's it's an anti timing. The plus one's going to be just finished for Bly. Yeah. I don't so think with a, with a good this is not intended to do anything. In fact, yeah, he just but rocks. Armani should just move to the, the back rocks, which he's going to now. Yeah, this is good. Snipe down those, open up some, some counter-attack paths. I'm kind of surprised to see him kill these rocks, though, because if he left these open, he could do some multi-prong here. But as it I is, think... it's not really going to happen. Yeah. He's going. He should move over and... Okay, he's not going to finish off the, the other rocks. No. He's actually quite down. He's got a huge drone count. Um, yeah, he just squeezed out like 15 drones almost, and Bly was just hammering roaches the whole time. Bly is scared shitless. Bly has so. been at 47 drones for the, the yeah. last. I feel long like time. I feel like Bly overreacted there. Well, he's just yeah, he's just been sitting at 47, whereas um, Armani was at 45, but now he's at 59. Yeah, 60, which is. And I like, guess Bly, he, Bly has the army lead, but Armani should be able to convert this mineral lead into. This is like the the maximum amount big. of drones you'd ever want in a ZZ. Sixty. At yeah, least I'd say it's even too many. Yeah. Like, uh, well, think, especially like, against against uh, Bly's drone count, I think it is. Yeah. 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 Ooh, they're both moving out. Does he? Did Bly, Bly he sees knows, it. Though. Oh, yeah. they both know. Oh, Bly pulls back. Wow. Armani's so, so assertive. Armani, Armani knows though. He knows that he's down in supply. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's trying to delay, I guess. Okay, but he no splitting up roaches is not the correct move. That's too many to send. I would send maybe three to try and snipe drones. I don't think he can really afford to send any. Mm. I think yeah, Bly is going to move up. Okay, these drones in the back doing. Well, Bly's Actually, not attacking, and these roaches are now going to kill the queen and a bunch of drones in Bly's main. Bly has to go for it. What can he do? Bly here? just. He needs to go, yeah, work on but the he back. Can't, he can't go down this ramp, though. Yeah. This is like, Armani's just got this, I think. Oh, no. This is insane. Oh, what's Armani doing, though? He does not want to be taking a fight voluntarily. Yeah. He's just worried about these rocks, I think. Yeah, but it's a really weird positioning for his roaches. You'd think it'd have him back in his natural if he was scared of the rocks. Yeah. Wow. Okay, he just goes for that half of the army. Oh, Bly caught with his pants down and... Oh, man. And he now has the concave, this but I think no, Armani just has Armani's the got the better, better roach count. Yeah. And meanwhile, in the main, he killed so many drones. Yeah, and Armani's got bow move now. Drones. He can actually bow move these roaches and save them all. Yeah, he could be blink markering right now. Yeah. Oh, same for Bly as well. Neither Although there's no here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Bly does have a counter attack going to the third here. There are some yeah, roaches. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, uh, roaches spawning. Yeah. That's a queen, but. I feel like the drone Good damage trade for is going to tell Good the story. Trade. 63 versus like 40, 38, 38. even. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Bly, Bly needs to really focus on the bar move. Yeah, harass. he has to do crazy multi prong right now to have any chance. And he's still just making roaches. Like this game just gets worse and worse for him every second that passes. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Picks up one, just burrows again. <laughs> Alright, there's another shark well, I... squad heading around the back. Yeah, but this, this can't do anything. Oh, I mean, the roaches. He'll, he'll, he'll get a few drones. He'll get like four drones, maybe, if he really yeah. tries. He has to run now, though. Nah, these roaches are trapped. That's traps. too much. They're trapped. He actually can... got a few. That's not worth it. He can't trade army for drones. No, he, he absolutely to... can't. Well, no, he can't. Nah, he needs to be he needs really to... effective. He needs to, yeah, he needs to, tr like, kill drones without losing anything. Yeah, now there's roaches in Aman in Bly's main. There's roaches killing. See, Armani is doing what Bly needs to be doing. Yeah, this is pretty over. Armani's just I don't know, just that playing Bly it seems. Uh, the series is not over yet though. This That's is true. of course the best of five. I'm pretty Bly... sure we got on the first map. I can't actually confirm that, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> Spire from Bly. So desperate muter switch. Yeah, I, I guess he's just like I want to spend this gas on muters and somehow hope to win. But yeah, desperate muter switch maybe into into base trade kind of look. Yeah. And I mean he's got to try something, right? He's not going to win this game with roaches at this point. No, no, there's no way. He's down fifty supply. I mean. Yeah, he's now thoroughly behind on income and army. So. It has to be some kind of tricky tech. Yeah, but and... Armani's not going to give him time. Armani's just going to walk across the map. Armani breaks down his... Well, no, he doesn't. I thought he broke down his back rocks. Which would have been very unfortunate for him. Yeah. yeah Bly no, can get Bly, a nice fight here. Bly should have nothing to do with this fight, to be honest. Yeah, no. Armani's look, just going to go straight to the main. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's it. That's that it. guarantees him a good angle of engagement, and Bly can't yeah. take this fight. At minimum, it's going to be like a reasonable concave. Yeah, like... Sure, Bly gets a concave, but if Armani just stutters forward, yeah, which he doesn't even need to do, to be honest, but he should stutter forward. He right really now. should. This is really bad. This is incredibly bad, but this is actually okay. There we <laughs> there go. There we go. A little bit more. Bly is actually holding. Yeah, that was actually. Like those transfusers in that concave have actually let him hold this. He still has no money, but he still has nothing coming behind. He's us. making roaches he instead of muters. He was too. just like 50 supply down and almost almost held there. So, yep. but Armani just remaxes on roaches but, and wins the fight. Yeah. It's an entirely Armani's fault, but good hold from Bly. Good almost hold from Bly there. Yeah, almost. Solid concave. Armani up to zero. And I mean, that just came down to a, that first big fight, I think, where Bly had too many roaches off counterattacking. Yeah. From the whole game from there, he was pretty much behind. Well, he was actually ahead on army supply for a long time, but it was really the um, all the drones dying that sealed the deal, I think. Yeah. As that tends to do. Anyway, we should be into the next map pretty soon. Yeah. So. Hopefully, very quickly, so Bly doesn't get mad. Yeah, I'm going. To, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be on point. You, to join you just me. yeah. You as soon as I join, you join off me. I'm just gonna quickly check the match history. Hopefully they, hopefully they have it on. Yeah. Yeah. But just turn off. No. Just put no billboards build off. Yeah. It's yeah. Hard. It's not hard. No match history if you if it's a practice game. You know what I mean? No, there's no match history at all. Ah. Uh, <laughs> like, we want to know if you've played them. Yeah. And build order. The reason you'd want no match history is if you want no one to know that you played someone. <laughs> Altogether, build order hides everything important. I think. Like I'm pretty sure it hides like all the graphs and stuff. But I just logged off, so that might have been it. Yeah, I just I don't see what Armani. So I think Armani took that one. I guess three something. Can't really tell. Yeah, he might have. I'll just ask Armani what the score was. Yeah. Yep, 3 0 Armani, so we missed the first map. 3 0 Armani. Pretty solid. Clean. I wonder if the first game looks exactly the same. Armani, Arthur, or 
Well, I mean, I think Hawk Spear is on the other stream right now. So let's let's, go, um, let's get into Armani Arthur. Yep, absolutely. All right, I'll be back. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Um, do check out the main sponsor for this event, which is Salo Silver Photo Photography um, at salosilverphoto.com. He's got some really nice photos there. You can download wallpapers. And at the moment, he's running a special raffle. If you order a print, then you get entered into the draw to win a gaming keyboard or mouse. And it's really good odds, as you can see from the details here. 25% chance, or 20% chance to get a keyboard. And then if you miss out on that, you have a 25% chance to get a mouse. So every five draws, someone gets a keyboard and someone, every five uh, purchases rather, someone gets a keyboard, someone gets a mouse. So go check that out. Really nice stuff. And he's been supporting the, uh, Southeast Asian StarCraft 2 community a lot lately, so we're very grateful for that. Shout outs. Shout outs. Let's go. Salo. Oh, they're Salo. playing career server. Whoop. So we're gonna have to switch. Uh, the quick I'll just ask them for a channel. Two quick switches. Just telling me to wait for now. But we should have our Marnie vs Arthur very soon, which I'm excited for. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, what's the other side? Huck's Spear. So all our C players have been defeated. That's a shame. So who did Igus go down to? Igus went down to Arthur. Ah, uh, 3-0. Wow. Arthur must be on point. Yeah. Uh, this is actually going to be interesting. Arthur, kind of one of the maybe less skilled of the South Korean players. One of the standard and, South Korean players? Yeah. Like, all the Koreans left here, Spear, Arthur, Armani, all well, then, perhaps a little less known. Yeah, like, I guess it's because Solar didn't show up, and yeah. Emotion didn't show up, so they were the two biggest names, I think. Yeah, I mean, even Emotion is not... Not as big as Solar. Not as huge, yeah, Solar may be the, yeah. the biggest name, really. Doesn't show up. So, are we going to be seeing an all-Korean... Oh, do you have a channel, by the way? Uh, I'm waiting. He just said wait, so he's still on North America, so I guess he's organizing it. All right. Looks like Arthur might be AFK, maybe. Is he? Yeah. Do you have any thoughts about this game? Um, not really. All right, we're going Korea server OSC channel. All right. Oh. I haven't seen. E um, Arthur play in a long time actually, so I'm not sure what to expect. Yeah, but I think Arthur's been active in in C tournaments. I uh, think a long time ago he was very active. I'm not sure lately. I think recently, like I think I've seen his name. Right. In at least maybe one of the recent C crafts. I'll look at the results list. We'll probably probably likely see him with a first place if he's if he's participated. But no, it doesn't look like it. I guess. I think it's been a while for him. Yeah. So I wonder wonder what kind of form he's in. Uh, I think we might be seeing some warp prisms. Warp prisms Arthur, of course, a, a big fan of his warp prisms. Yeah, and he's on Clan Chicken. Good clan. Yeah. All right, we're about to go into a best of five between Arthur and Armani. Nice. Semi-finals here in the Masters Cup number. What is it now? Number forty-eight. Number forty-eight. Almost fifty. That's pretty crazy because this is a monthly tournament. Yeah, if you think about that, that's that's a long time. That's almost. That's four years. This forty-eight is, like, is four years. It's exactly four years. So this started. Or I guess the next one is the four-year anniversary. Is it? Isn't 48 divide 12 4? Yeah, but that means... Oh, I guess... So this is the this is the last one of the... Yeah, if it started in December... If it started in January, this is the December. If you know what I mean. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but, I know uh, what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. Of course, there are a few months missed, I think. I think it's been going on even longer than four years. That's incredible. Well done. Shout-outs to Eddie. Yeah, man. Eddie's been running these things for so long. Uh, incredible. It's really cool. 
All right. We also are note the, the, the sick prize pool for this um. Yep. This particular, a pretty dank prize pool. It's pretty dank. <laughs> Four twenty dollars. Um, it's one of the dankest prize pools I've seen in a while. I think it's the most dank prize pool I've ever. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so let's hope for 50 more Masters Cups. I agree. Let's go for 100. All right, here we Just go. Dead last wing. Ever and ever. Dead wing. Why is my right. thing not working? Uh oh. There we go. Uh oh. All good, all good. All right, guys. It's Dead Wing Ellie. Oh, yeah. And in the top right, it is the yellow Protoss. On the clan chicken, it is Arthur. It's got some cool little decals going on there. Yeah, man. What nice. is this thing? Is that chicken? So, it is. It's fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken. <laughs> ten out of ten. Nice. Nice. All right. And on the other hand, it's Armani. I believe he's on Samsung. Yeah, I think that's right. I think. All right. Maybe. He's a red zerg. I think he. I think he's on Samsung. So, cross positions. Yeah, he's a member of Samsung Galaxy. Nice. And he's in the alive clan. Wow, so alive. <laughs> Unlike StarCraft. Alright. Could we see a 1312? I'm yes, high on we, the 1312. We technically could, but I don't think we're going to. Yeah, okay. There's a 14th drone. Ever since I did it that once. <laughs> You've discovered how it feels to be David. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was in this this spawns as well, except reverse. But anyway, back to players who are actually skilled. Yes, people who are actually good at this game. It looks like... Uh -huh. Oh, Nexus first. Yep, Nexus first. I like it. I am a fan. Yeah, I should have went 13, 12. And I had first from my money, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Three hatch before pool, maybe? Let's Hopefully. See. Actually, there I we, think I'm... The other um, okay, all right. Or is that just... I, that's just scouting, I think. It might still be a pool. No, that's too... No, it's it's got... That's too early. It's too early. Yeah, if that's just a scout for probe. It's too early for a probe. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna patrol it and then. Well, at the, at the moment, search. it's at the moment it's there to scout. Otherwise, it wouldn't have sent it this early, right? Come on, yeah. validate me here, Ryan. That's true. <laughs> but it is gonna be a third hatch. Is he actually rally another drone, or is that? Um, I think he's just sending this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a it's bit kind late, of, actually. It's weird that he has that drone patrolling there when he has the Overlord watching anyway. Although I guess the overload wasn't quite at the top of the ramp that early. Alright, not so. immediately. Yeah. I think it might have been... Just no, being no, it, it worked. Yeah, no, it's good. Four players spawn, like, maybe maybe if our Protoss was in the closer position at the top there. Just rushes down for the cannon rush. Wants to... Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. I mean, I do something similar. I normally have a drone out. Yeah. Attack moving yeah. around instead of patrolling. Yeah, I I'm, too, I definitely I'm too bad think... to watch a patrolling drone. <laughs> yeah, because they don't auto attack the. Yeah, so I just I fake the I just go attack move backwards and forwards with the Q, like a hundred oh. times. <laughs> it's pretty good use of APM. Nice. Anyway, no gas yet from Armani, so he's just gonna greet it up. Mm -hmm. I like this. I'm a fan of this build. Yeah, especially on Deadwing, it's really easy to hold these three bases. You don't need yeah. link speed. Yeah, so I think the biggest, the biggest, uh, the hardest thing to defend in terms of super early attacks with this kind of build is the um, five gate, like one gas, and you just kind of, it's kind of like the four gate zealot, but you have a bunch of stalkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one round of stalkers and then all zealots. Yeah, and then all zealots. Yeah, it's and you just keep the stalkers alive, and that's really effective because. And there is the chrono on that cyber core. So despite having double gas, it looks like he will be doing some kind of gateway pressure, maybe a three gate. Yeah. We could see a robo facility too, with yep. um, with Arthur. But yeah, Amani's just making queens and drones. As he should. Be. In a nice position, yeah. This is just the dream, Mr. Zerg. Whenever you feel safe to do this, it's so good. Yeah. This is yeah. If you can get to three bases saturated without really having to do anything, yeah, you're you're in a great spot. I'm not sure if two quick Amani gases. saw the chrono or not, but. I like that. I like the, the, the like 5.30, 5.40 gas guys. Yeah, this is... I like this gas timing too. Only three queens, you know. Gets that faster speed out. Yeah. And you can hit some nice, like, hydrolink timings off this kind of thing as well. Yeah. It actually also opens up the possibility of roach pressure. Yeah. Ooh, those links got into the main, but they didn't scout that extra gateway, I don't think. Oh, 
that's three gateways total, so just some light pressure. Yep. And yeah, there's the Roach Warren. Actually, that's that's kind of that's kind of a normal time to not die to Yep. Just, just in case there's like some kind of crazy six seven gate coming. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And there's the Twilight behind. So probably gonna see maybe a seven, seven thirty ish third. Actually, there's a lot of pylons being warped. Yeah, I mean, it looks like despite having only three gates, Arthur does want to get serious with his pressure. I think he just, yeah, he just wants In to apply some pressure. So 24 links on the way for Armani. Yeah. Armani's, like Armani's going to hold this fine, and Arthur's going to have to recoil, I think, but the question is how much is Armani committing? How many drones does he have? He does have 41 drones already, so he should be okay here. Yeah, 40, yeah, th no, this is fine. Yeah, so he commits to the links. He, yeah. Seven roaches, yeah. Oh, he shouldn't make anything. Cream. He should only really be making roaches. But this is this is good by Arthur. Like he's with only three gates, he's making Armani. Applying some be... pressure. But the thing is, Armani's got an Overlord in his base right now, and it's seen the Twilight. I, yeah, I still really like this for Arthur. He's keeping Armani. Arthur, no, yeah, Arthur. Uh, it's like good he's ahead on. But it's Armani on knows. Arma Armani knows. I think he's already done the damage though. Like I feel like Arthur is now straight up ahead. He's a hit on workers against the Zerg. Like that's pretty sick. Yeah, but I, I feel I feel like Armani can quickly quickly catch up. Yep, he can absolutely so, slow the drones, but all oh, the okay, he's gonna have to recoil. Might still be pretty strong. Yeah, there's the recoil. A lot of sentries. Arthur's... Okay, he's just going for a huge two base two blink. base blink attack. Yeah, I like it. But he's gonna he's lose a... his pile. Oh, he's got a probe hidden over to the left there. Oh, I like it. Very Maybe you should put it on the super high ground to be even sneakier. I think he. Probably doesn't need to. Yeah, here comes the main attack. Um, this is actually so good. Like, there's no roach, roach speed is so far away. Yeah, and Armani's um, still droning, is he? Uh, he's, he still trying to get, he's still trying to get up to his 60 drones. He just got to 60 drones now. This is so scary. Yeah. Armani's countering, though. Ooh, that is good. There's no. Oh, there's a full wall off with pylons. Okay, 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 that's fine, but, these, but he can, these he can get this gateway, I think. If he targeted liquid, he's going for pylons instead. That's Either okay. Is fine. He needs more than one sentry here. And Armani repels the attack at the front. I think these these links are getting. Oh no! Oh, they will get through over the left. Oh, oh no! They, oh man! Okay. Good force that's, that's field there. Right. That's good. That's that was right. a good save. But he's going to lose at least one century. He has to pull probes for like twenty or less links. This is a great counter by Armani. Yeah. Really smart. Really smart play. Yeah, and this means he's delayed the frontal attack for so long that he's had all this time to pump out units off those sixty drones. So I think Armani's yeah. in a in a great position now. He should hold this. Yeah, as long with this ramp too. Yeah, and he's got six links Ooh! in the main. It's oh okay. man, we don't it's get too much so annoying. Time. Yeah, but it, it's just super annoying and forces Arthur yeah. to walk in at home. And he needs to pull probes here too. Yeah, yeah most importantly, it forces him to work. Oh, Whoa, Armani's getting a little bit actually over there. terrible force fields. Yeah, they were exactly where they didn't need to be, but yeah, he gets just a few like roaches, almost Armani's lost like, the mothership. Okay, I won't fight you. Yeah, that's all right. You're on two bases, and with every oh borrow, there's no robo, there's no robo, there's oh, no or yeah. That's going to be pretty close. And that finishes, that's, that's going to be it for this attack, but Arthur... I mean, this Protoss Army is still very scary right now. Yeah. With, with good force fields and good blinking. Oh, I don't really like good, this. No, all... I don't like him splitting down here. Yeah. If Arthur can, can really exploit this if he has the right force fields. Look, yeah, exactly. Can... Yeah. Because oh, he, he can force fit out one side so easily. Yeah, exactly. And the is going f for the flank, and oh, Arthur gets himself in a bad position here. He does force fit out the, the main okay, yeah. though. Yeah, that's good. Not bad, not bad, not but bad. this is still an all yeah, so um, Armani has to come back. He, like, this burrow is really just key. Stay on the high ground, keep the concave on the high ground. Yeah. Well, oh, this army is huge! That is a lot of Protoss, man. Roaches are doing some decent work. He needs the burrow, but even that, I don't know if it's going to save him at this point. He's lost so much army already. I feel like mm -hmm. Armani can just keep pushing forward. Uh, he, has to, he, has to, he has to burrow. He does get past all the force, yeah. the sentries have run out of energy, but the blink is just still so good. Oh, please burrow. Burrow. Okay. Nice. But does that help him much? Not really. If he pulls the drones... If he pulls the, the drones, drones and unburrows at the right time, minutes. he can lose less, but he's still dead, I think. Yeah, like, look at this, Armani... Arthur doesn't care. He knows he's surrounded by roaches. He just doesn't care. Yeah. Beautiful attack. That's it. Yeah. Arthur. Queen. Yeah, he just made Armani make too that many... That 3 was so good. Yeah. The 3 gate pressure was so good. This attack without the three gate pressure, Armani has sixty drones like two minutes earlier, and he just crushes. Yep. He has roach speed done. He like engages it when it's coming to him, you know. Yeah. 
and he's just like, no, I've got 40 probes, you're only allowed 40 drones. And was crazy. he just pushed the front with like five sure. stalkers, forced out loads of lings, and yeah, great win from Arthur. Nice. Very impressive. Yep. Very solid play. I want to see how his games went versus Iger's went, because... I mean, Iger's doesn't seem to be... Like, he seems to be pretty on point lately. And he was certainly two owing his way the uh, two owing his way through the bracket before he hit Arthur, so Yeah. I think Arthur is a solid contender to win this whole thing. Yeah, he might be. Taking out Armani in game one though. Yeah. That was actually so nice for For that Arthur. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Really well done. Alright, Overgrowth, a bit more of a standard map. Ryan's favourite map because you get more money. <laughs> Is that right? No, it's just an exam like, because uh, the, the top position isn't bad for Zerg. Because a lot, like, a, yeah. It's not as good as the bottom one. It's not a, It's not as good, but it's, it's like, absolutely negligible. <laughs> Like on on, You've on done other the maps, on other ma yeah, I mean, it's just what happens. Like when you're at the beginning of the game, you're like, I Got just get really perfectionist. Yeah. I'm like, man, I want my pool to be quicker. Yeah. So, In base pylon again from Arthur. I think we might see a gateway expand this time. Yeah, I feel like we'll probably see something like a gate nexus, maybe with a probe scout. Yep. Like, oh well, yeah, like a reactionary. Is this I want to a, see a this. drone scout from Armani. Interesting. I like that. Think he's gonna proxy? Um. No. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a Nexus first, but it's too early. I'm just dumb. <laughs> Wait. I don't, know. Mm, I don't think it will be. I doubt it. On this map, I doubt it. I'd be somewhat scared. Of something like a 13, 12, you know. If. If. Oh wait. Oh, hang might. on. If it's a Nexus first, it's a it's, good decision. What is this probe doing? It's way too early. Um, yeah. I, d I don't understand that. Although, it does actually dodge the drone. Ooh, oh, Amani nice. just saw it though. Amani okay, just hatchery, saw hatchery, it. hatchery. Yeah, I'd love to see him block it now. Oh. Oh, no, he's just, he's just gonna... He's just blocking, yeah. Yeah, he's he not just took one. Hatch. That's fair enough. Um, I'm not against that. It's pretty hard to get the proxy hatch down against a competent Protoss anyway. Yeah. And the probe's already there. They're so used to blocking the hatchery, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they know how to dance. But yeah, this means Armani could just be... feels super safe to drone up and go three hatch, but actually, he's going gas pool off one hatch, one expansion. What do you think about that? This is... Some Koreans do this. They do the drone scout on two-player maps. Sulky, notably, I've seen do this before. Uh... I, can't, I actually can't think of any other examples other than Sulky, but I have seen people do this before. They do the drone scout, go to the hatchery if they see something that prompts, you know, hatch first, and then hatch gas pool. And I, I kind of, I don't know how how good that is against this Nexus first. I I don't understand it really. Like, unless this is to hit some timing, which seems really weird to do a two base timing against Protoss. I. I feel like three hatch is always better, especially yeah. when you have that intel that you know you can't get cannon rushed, and you know you're not going to get like early zealot pressured. Like, just go for it. He could be feeling like after that last game where um, uh, where he kind of really suffered against that early pressure. Maybe, Maybe he's thinking, yeah. "I'm going to get link speed." Deny that. There's That's tempers true. on the way though. Maybe he just wants the map. No, this is an all in. He's all inning. Yeah, this is pretty committed. He's just gonna make he's just gonna make speed links. He's only got one queen, by the way. That's a huge misstep. That's so huge. Wow. That's so bad. Yeah, look at this money money is banking. Oh, that is just no. a mistake. Wow. Oh, and he starts, starts the other now, one. Oh, that's... that hurts. That hurts so much. Because this is that first inject, that's that's what he needs. And yeah. there's gonna be a cannon. Oh man. Full wall off and now a cannon. Another ship core. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty brutal. Okay, now he has to transition. He has to transition. Yeah, he's droning. He'll get one pylon out of this. And he might get in. Yeah, he's actually gonna get in here, I think. Oh no, he can put another pylon there, never mind. Oh. 
And yeah, he That's goes home. That's a pylon. But at this point, Arthur should be very, very happy with how this game is going. Absolutely. Being up four workers at this stage. That's Amazing. Huge. Yeah. He's got a forge, can just quickly go into an upgrade. There it is. Real quick for a gateway expand. Yep. Just add on some more gateway soon, and yeah, Arthur is just in a great spot this game. Yeah, I, I'm not keen on that play from Armani, to be honest. I don't, no. I don't see that working very often. Yeah, especially when they build a Simon X core on the low ground like that. Yeah, the wall's just so easy to finish. Yeah, because if they get the wall, you you can, oftentimes you lose. Yeah. I I practice this with Pez, um, this specific like hatch gas pool ling flood. Yep. And it was like I beat him like the first four games, and then after that I couldn't beat him anymore. Like yeah. he nexus first, he beat it. Gate nexus, he beat it. Yeah, it it basically has to be like a surprise. Yeah, they Catch have to not. Guard. They have to not be. Even it doesn't even necessarily have to be a surprise, but they just have to not know how to defend it. Right. Yeah. They, yeah. Like if you know what you're doing, it's very a very easy hold. So I'm not I'm not a big fan. Yeah. Even without scouting, all he needed was just to have the wall nearly done. Yeah. Um, and he can finish. I mean, he had time. a forge anyway. Like that's so good. Yeah. Anyway, Roach one for Armani here. He's got himself up to 46 drones, and the lair starting. But he needs. Yeah, and like Armani's got seven gates like finishing up now. This attack's gonna be so hard hitting. Yeah, like what I like about this build normally for Armani when he goes for this, when you go for this kind of hatch gas pool, is you can kind of get a fast layer. You can maybe you can skip roaches, you know, like just go for a fast Hydra defense. Yeah. Um, and just use Hydra Ling, but in this case he's just down in drones from where he could have been. Yeah, everything's delayed. It has to be roach Ling defense. It has to be Roachling. And at this point, Arth like, Arthur can do whatever he wants. He can expand. So Arthur's broadcasting the expansion. And I think he is going to actually take the expansion. I think he should. I think he should but take he it. Has, he has heat. so many gates. That's true, actually. One, two, three, four. Like, seven gates like is normally a, a sure sign of aggression. Yeah. I'd so like, I, like, personally, I, I would have preferred if he got like a 730. Full wall off of like, like an eight minute third expand or something. And then just went into like a huge gateway. Yeah. Off but I think, because Armani hasn't scouted the extra gateways, I think he still thinks well, it's the third, but in now he knows it's the not. Third now, yeah. now he sees it's not. And Arthur's trying to be sneaky, but there's enough links on the map that Armani knows exactly what's going on. The question is, can he hold it? Like, he's invested into, so. into plus one attack for Roaches, that's not going to be done. Burrow is going to be done. Uh, Burrow will be done. That's Having that's... that early Burrow could be amazing. It could save him. It's either going to end fantastically or it's going to be negligible. Yep. Last game it was negligible. Yeah. Arthur if just he had can, way too if much. he can unburrow under the sentries and kill a lot of them. Two spines and nearly. Okay, 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 Ooh. okay. Did he see Did that? Arthur Did he see, see that? I think he might have just. That mothership call might have just been in vision. All right. Does he? All right. He. He shouldn't push up though. He has if no these, reason to push up. If these, if these roaches unburrow under the sentries. It could be so That's clutch. gonna be so like within spine range. It's yeah. almost like a like a a human force field. Rich force field. Oh, oh man. He just needs to go for it. Oh, here we go. The umbrella is gonna happen. He's waiting, right. he goes for it. Oh no, that's it's not great. It's not great. There's so many of the roaches at the back are just aren't attacking, so Arthur still gets a great trade there. Still loads of sentries alive. I think he's just gonna kill him again. Yeah, yeah Bo is the stuff that gets caught. Lings around the back, like this isn't a bad defense from Amani, but Arthur, so many force fields, still yeah, centuries. Arthur has to slip up big time from here for Armani to win this. It's perfect force fields once again. The burrow helps, but I think I'm like Arthur's just hit critical mass. Armani can't build up the army to deal with this, even if he has the burrow micro. Like at the moment, if he unburrows, this is out on top of the roaches. Like, yeah, who cares? All right, he unburrows again. Ro drones, drones come, come off the line. line, but half the drones are force fielded out along with a bunch of the roaches. Yup, no. Arthur's just gonna kill that's me. That's gonna yeah. be it. That's the, the third's gonna go down. Just really solid micro here from Arthur. He even built a forward cannon to detect those roaches, just in case he needs it. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> cute play. So cute. He's got vision now. Don't know from what. Oh, the cannon! That's so smart. Yep. I didn't even think of that. That's gonna be it. And Armani, yeah. 
I think he's just digesting the loss at this point. It's pretty over. He's pretty much just desperately just trying to do what he can. Yep. He knows he knows he's in trouble, but he's thinking like, okay, maybe if he if he right clicks through my roaches. Yeah, if there's a huge mistake from Arthur, it can happen, but yeah, it's gonna take a big misplay, I think. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna require a miracle. Here he goes again. Yeah, and there's just so many force fields. Yeah, and I mean, Arthur's now ahead on income. Like, this isn't getting better for Armani. Arthur can sit around no. as long as he wants. No, it's not getting better. There's a third hatch on the way, but it's a long way from finishing. And he lost all the drones anyway. Like, Yeah. He's dead. Yeah, it's, and, and the bigger this army gets, the harder it is for Roaches to beat it. Yeah, the Sentry Stalker scales much better than the Roaches. Yeah. You normally need, um, you know, Hydras or Infestors at this point. Yeah, like, this is like a three-base army. Like, looks like it's a three-base army, you know? Yeah, exactly. And Arthur, Arthur knows the position is in. He's just like, All right, Arthur is just I'm waiting for his observer. His observer's yeah. halfway across the map right now. And and he's saying, look, or you, I'm about to make you attack me. Yep. And then I'm going to win. Armani's desperately making spine crawls in his natural. Yeah. The observer arrives, and this is going to be a... Not the best time warp, but... There's just no way to kill this army. It's huge. Uh, 150 supply of two bases, it's insane. Good force fields there from Arthur, cuts off some of the roaches, and there's the GG. Arthur goes up 2 0 on this best of five. Yeah, just just an inefficient, like a. Armani was just behind on the off the opening, and when that happens, like the all ins are just so scary. Yep. Arthur, both times, you know, capitalizing on Armani not getting to where he wants to be. Um the time he needs to get there. Yeah. This time I feel like it was more Armani's fault than... It was, uh, yeah, last play. time it was Arthur's good play. This time it was Armani's bad play. But at the same time, Arthur knew the position Armani was in. Oh, yeah. It was, so, there was, so no, there was no mistake by Arthur. It just, yeah. It wasn't, he just know, capitalized. You know, he's like, all right, you've yeah. messed up. He saw a weakness and he just mm -hmm. took care of, you know, took advantage yeah, took, of it in the perfect way. Took, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Took advantage of it. All right, going into map three here. Do you reckon Armani can pull the comeback? Station. I don't think so. I think yeah, it's going to be a 3-0. Arthur looks so good right now. And so solid. On Varney. I think Varney is a nice map for Brodos. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know. I think it's pretty fair for this matchup. I don't think it's particularly... Like, I don't think it's particularly Zerg-favored map, you know? No. Um, but, I mean, it's... I don't know, it's a pretty good Swarm host map. That's true. Armani doesn't... Yeah, maybe. Either way. Alright. All right, so here we are on Varney Research Station, spawning in the top position, in the yellow, sporting his chicken decal. It is Arthur. Look at that chicken. Man, that mm. looks so good. Oh. Mmm, oh baby. And of course, his opponent down 0-2. Can he pull it back? Will he remain alive in this tournament? It is Armani. Oh, good save. Oof. Almost <laughs> Arthur. Almost said Arthur, but pulled it back. All right. So, do you think Armani would be doing better if he had a chicken decal? I think it's undoubtable. You know? Yeah, it's pretty strong. I just I wonder what he like I wonder what his approach to this game is going to be because we've seen two different approaches thus far. Yeah, I I like Armani's first approach. I do too. The second Especially one, on this on this map, that kind one, of play the link flight is never going to happen. <laughs> it's never going to work. <laughs> never going to work. Is so is Arthur going to go for that nexus first again? I not. No. I like that. I like the adjustment. And the probe scout. Now the question I'm curious about is, will this probe scout allow him to reactively do anything, or is he just kind of locked into a, a gas here? Yeah, it looks like he's locked in. I think so. Yeah. Um, he might choose not to mine the gas to get a faster nexus, maybe. Mm. But maybe. But I honestly, I feel like if you're taking the gas, you might as well just go into it, and get the faster warp gate. It's, it's, exactly. Yeah, and take no advantage reason. of that advantage. Like. It's this is because it's no it's by no means bad to take the like four minute nexus you know. Oh no, it's it's still great. But... Yeah. Just just means you kind of you do probably need to apply a little bit of pressure. 
Arthur does check the outside base, make sure it's not a three hatch. And Armani, yeah, yeah he's just apparently happy to go hatch pool. Hatch pool? Is he gonna get gas? The gas is late. It is really weird, yeah, to see this without gas. Okay, hatch pool. Hatch pool. So he could just go hatch pool hatch. I guess so, yeah. Maybe he's just scared of some kind of pressure. Mm. Yeah, maybe he maybe he's um worried about cannon rush on the third. Could be. Maybe this map is pretty like it actually looks pretty tough. Um, um I don't know, there's not that many tight pylon spots. I think you need at least like even three pylons seems hard to wall off here. Yeah. I don't think it's great for Cannon Rush. And to be honest, I feel like Hatch Pool against Cannon Rush isn't great anyway. Like, his natural will be pretty vulnerable. Well, yeah, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. If you're scared of Cannon Rush, I think you go either Pool first, or you just go 3 Hatch anyway, and let them Cannon 1. That's my yeah. approach normally. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you save 1 Hatchery. Whoa! But he does kill the probe, that's funny. He went gas. That gas, gas started at, like, gas. 350 or something. Yeah, this is a weird timing. That's not, so weird. I'm not sure what that's for. Like normally, I expect a single gas before, like the, you know, the three twenty mark, or yeah, double no. gas at maybe five minutes onwards. But seeing the single gas at almost four minutes is pretty weird. I guess it's just when he can afford it, while getting this three. It's weird. Like I guess he's going for, you know, like that seven minute kind of speed finishes kind of thing. Yeah. Which is was the issue with this build is it just dies to aggression. Um, not necessarily. I think, so. I think so because, well, the reason I I say that is that you don't have speed at any reasonable time for fast gateway but, pressure, and you're mean, not going to have a lot of queens. What kind of gateway? Like, like the only thing that's going to hit this fast is going to be like five, six gate, four to six gate, right? Super yeah, yeah. early. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. I feel like that kills it. Like what Arthur's doing right now, I think that kills this. But we'll Maybe. see. We'll Except, see. Uh, he's getting. I think he's getting three queens. I guess yeah. A queen spy and hold is pretty hard, especially with this third being so open. Yeah, I mean, I if queen like... spy and hold is so difficult, especially when when you've got this the speed. He, I think if he, if he scouts this coming and drops a roach warrior in time, that's a good way to hold it. But it doesn't look like he's going to. He sees the natural being chronoed, and that's all he sees. He doesn't know about these uh, four gates. So this four gate pressure. That's actually is pretty so strong. the most intelligent gateway placement. Yeah, just put him right at the wall. It's really smart. Because you've got units of the walls, and you just don't let the zerg get up. Pylon's coming. Yeah, no. There's no way. I don't think. I personally think... Twelve on the way. Yeah. He's, he's, he might have smelt it. If he holds this, it's like every build holds this, you know? Like, this is the worst <laughs> possible situation. I think every build holds this if you know it's coming. Yeah. His sentries yeah. popping in. This is going to be pretty committed. Sentries? That's, that's kind of odd. It is a little odd. I guess... I, it is a later timing. Yeah. Okay. Right, and now speed's he, actually now got, speed's he gonna be sure. done. Speed is gonna be done just in time. Like it's if if Arthur went with like the fastest possible warp in, there would be no speed done. Yeah. But speed's gonna be done in time this for when he really needs it. This is the fastest possible warp in, you know. This is like a like a prolong. Like he's got a probe on the way. Like is he still cornering probes or? Yeah, he's he's actually ahead on probes by one right now. So he's, like he's if, he can, if he can get up to like 44 or something while still being out here. Yeah. I'm surprised to see him making so many powers though, because it looks like he's going to recall. Oh, he he's definitely going to recall. Recall. So I'm surprised to see him make three pylons. It seems like a bit of an overcommitment to the map, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, best. he's definitely selling it. Oh, he's absolutely selling it. Um, I think, like, it's a situation where it's like, he's happy to just sit here forever. 36 probes to 34 drones, and he's got double probe production. Like, unless if he gets to recall or something, this is looking super solid for Arthur. Yeah, the... Taking another gas of the natural now, and yeah, I mean, he doesn't like, doesn't look. Ter oh, 34 drones. Uh, such a, and look, he's still making Ling Roach. He has to, because Ling's aren't going to be enough. He needs yeah. that the roaches to force his I back. I feel like I don't know. He has to sneak in some drones somewhere during this. He has to realize nice. that with the spine. Okay, he's yeah. gonna he's gonna. Oh, he shouldn't engage. He should. He needs to. Does, counter? does, a counter, does a counter ever work on this map? No. <laughs> Unless they're taking a third, I doubt it. Okay, he's gonna have to warp in at home. I mean, Arthur's just going straight up to seven gates oh. without any tech. All right, so he's gonna flank, but then Arthur's just recalling. Recalling. Yep. There's the recall for sure. Says peace out. Loses yep. absolutely nothing. No units. Loses the three pylons, but that's not a big deal. Yeah. I mean, actually. It starts a twilight cancel at home. This is gonna be a really late blink. 
his pylon blocked and he has no pylons. Yeah, blocked. he actually didn't start insurance pylons fast enough. He hasn't started them yet. This is really... I'm, I don't know what Arthur's doing. Because he made all these gates before the Twilight Council. And he's about to supply block himself further. Yeah. Where's... Alright, four pylons now. There we go. That is just so late. I don't understand what's going on here. Because I feel like he should have just made those gateways and then warped in more sentries and... Well, mostly stalkers actually. He has a lot of sentries. They just walked across the map again. Yeah. But this Twilight Council for the blink transition is so late, he could have had blink almost done by now if he wanted it. Yeah. It's really weird. 100%. I feel like maybe he was, you know, paying too much attention to his army during all that. Yeah. It's a bit odd. Uncharacteristic based on the last two games. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, Amani... This, well, I mean, he, whoa, he will whoa, be able whoa. to hit a blink attack. Amani's still on 43 drones. He's been making roaches. I mean, he's got Burrow again. Why was he... As soon as that recall happened, he should have droned this third up entirely. I don't understand why he's it's, so scared. He starts where now. No, I agree. Why Why is he making so many units? Yeah, he should... Like, okay, I understand one is getting units quickly, but just make the drones to saturate your third and then make units. You've got that much time, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Really weird. I mean, because a later, a later attack you're going to need drones anyway. Yeah. This anyway. army is so good. So Arthur's just going to... Arthur's moving push out. out. Oh, he sees these lings. The lings just trying to catch what they can. They're not yeah. really... They're not really... I mean, Amy more, more spine crawlers going out for Armani. I don't think he can afford these. His third isn't even saturated. He should be able to just make lings and roaches with all of his money. Uh, I think he needs them. The spines, the spines will spines. definitely help. But <sighs> it's just gonna. It's, it does lower. The his thing is, like the so main much. fight isn't gonna happen in range of all four spines unless Arthur's silly with his engagement. Yeah. Like I feel like just having more army is better in this situation. Yeah. Anyway, Arthur's taking it slow Arthur's once waiting again, for waiting for Blink, he's going to warp in more and more units. He needs, he needs to more, like, make a lot more pylons. I mean, I think, I think Armani's position is okay in this game, compared to the last couple. Like, he has this many spines, if he gets them set up in a better positioning, and he gets a good surround with he these links, like two, he, can, he can take this Two spine. or three, kind of, for this, where Arthur's right now, and then one for, like, the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That back hallway. Wall. Yeah, the little... Hallway there and oh, but the fight's gonna happen right now, I think. Second oh, then moves it's split up. up. No, his riches are all in the same spot. That's not good. Yeah, he needs to split. And these links, what are they doing? Aggressive right, flinks. I think it's a few. But yeah, I think Arthur's recognized once again his opponent is staying super low tech and he can just sit around warping in units. Yeah. Ooh. And now he's. Wow, he's Armani's getting aggressive. Armani just trying to make look something. Look at this, Arthur's finding the sweet spot. Nice force fields there, block out most of the army. These salads are gonna die pretty quickly, but the uh, bar, should be able to block. Nice. Yeah, there's the bar. Once again, no observer for Arthur, but right, once again, I don't think he really cares. Yeah. Pylon does go down, but he's got two over here. Armani's in a good position to, to deal with this. Mm, I don't know. The Lynx better, do flank, better than he, better than he has been in. Arthur's force fields are always, or almost always, really, really nice. Yeah, Very little point. overlap. Yeah, those ones behind are absolutely perfect. Yeah. And there's still loads of sentry energy, like, I don't see these roaches breaking through, he's just going right, to the meat links. grinder. Right. And the lings are getting force field off too. Like, he's got the burrow, but is that enough to save him? I don't think so, Arthur's up in supply now. Yeah, that's not a good place to be as a roach against Protoss. Nah, and that's gonna be it. Yep. Lings coming in the back, but there's barely any left now, he doesn't even need the force fields. Wow. Just beautiful, beautiful play by yeah. Arthur, really. Just puts him away with three three really nice blink all ends. Yep. And Armani just wasn't playing crisp enough in order to have the army to beat this kind of thing. Yeah. Because you have to, you have to be so on point with when you drone and when you stop droning in order to stop. Yeah. You know, this is why this is why on. gateway all ends into into this is better than than forge generally because yep. with forge Zerg goes to where they need to be so fast. And then, oh, sure, Protoss' army is bigger, but then Zerg just has so much stuff. Yep. But in this case, um, with with Gateway Expand, you have all these opportunities to make them overreact to what you're doing and under drone and not get to where they want, need to be. Yep. And that was so, just a complete school on Protoss versus Zerg by Arthur there. Yeah, that was that was really how cool. to win on two bases. So I think we're so, heading back to America for the grand finals. Uh, we will be seeing. I'm going to refresh the base trade stream. 
see what's going on in Hawk vs. Spear. Arthur in the finals. Yeah, man. Arthur's so good. I reckon he's going to win it. Yeah. I think so. I think he'll beat... I think he has a very good chance of beating either Spear or Hawk. Hawk is up 2-0 against Spear. Against Spear. Spear. Ugh. How do English... And this third game looks kind of even at the moment. Actually, no, it looks like Huck's ahead. So it looks like we might be seeing Huck versus Arthur. It's, what's the score? 2-0 to Huck. Ooh. And he's up in the third game. All right. So we have, we have a foreign hope. I wonder what Arthur's Protoss versus Protoss is like at the moment. Yeah, well, we saw Huck play. I mean, he... Huck, Huck managed to hold probe stupid builds, and and had that one proxy with the the Stargate. So yeah. Well, I mean, Arthur di Arthur did two zero soul, so that's pretty on point for PvP, right? I think that's just not being off point. <laughs> wow, rude. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I might not be able to stick around for the finals. Um, well, we don't necessarily need to cast it all. We could just pass it off to the base trade, guys. Uh, yeah. You want to do uh, that? Yeah, I think so. I think we should probably put it all on the same stream. I have to go anyway, so... Yeah, that's fair enough. We'll just finish it up here, then. Thanks for all watching, right. everyone. Check out Salo Silver... Photos. Silver's fine photography. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Salo uh, SalosilverPhoto.com uh, is the URL. It's, it's on stream the URL. The there we go. Yep. So go check that out, guys. Really check cool it out. Photos. There's some really nice photos there. If you if you buy, is it the? If you buy a print, you get a print. Then you go into the raffle. We got a, a one in five or two in five, something like this. Yeah, it's like two in five chance of winning either a keyboard or a mouse. Yeah, one either or, which is pretty good odds. Like yeah, and it's if, of your it's of your choice up dude, to a value look, of like look, if, twenty dollars. If, pretty nice. If you're the only one who enters, that means you get both, right? Like. So, I'm not sure that's how it works. Oh damn! So I think I think he's waiting for five purchases oh, and then, okay, he, then he does see, the draw. So every yeah, five so. purchases. All right, well let's meet. Let's get five now. Let's do it, guys. Yeah, guys, come on, five purchases. Let's come go. on, let's go. Check it out. Anyway, um, we can link it in the chat. Salo, silver, what photo or? F yeah, photo.com. Photo.com. I'm hoping this is correct. I'm gonna quickly check. And thanks, of course, to the regular sponsors, which are, I think, Eddie, SC2C.com, and Blizzard. Silicon Sports, I think, might I'm, be one of the sponsors. They're on this overlay, but I, I'm not sure if they sponsor this tournament. They certainly sponsored OSC events in the past, so thanks to them, of course, as well. Uh, here you go. Check this out, guys. That link there. Check and, out the photos. Yep. And if you want to watch the grand finals of the tournament, which, by the looks of yes. it, is going to be Arthur vs. Huck, head over to the Base Trade TV stream. Base Trade TV stream. It's Rifkin and Fenner casting. Rifkin and Fenner. So I know they're not as good casters as we are, but you'll have to deal with it. You'll have to deal with it. Ryan has to go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.